Scientists have identified a deadly virus that's wiping out millions of starfish along North America's Pacific coast. The culprit is called sea star-associated densovirus. The animals start to become lethargic and then they basically fall apart into a pile of goo on the bottom of the seafloor. More than 20 species, also called sea stars, are dying from the wasting disease that causes white lesions to appear. Then the animal's body sags, ruptures and spills out its internal organs. Scientists found that the same virus that's killing starfish today is also present in museum specimens dating back to 1942. There used to be millions and millions of them, or let's say thousands and thousands of them in small bays and inlets on the west coast, particularly in the Salish Sea, the region between Vancouver Island and British Columbia, and those have pretty much disappeared over the last year. The disease was first spotted in June 2013 and has shown no signs of slowing. So we think that it's probably some combination of overpopulation. The overpopulation, by the way, was a result perhaps of nutrient pollution, perhaps because of uh, some sort of fitness change in the animals. We don't really know what the cause of that is. Scientists prefer calling them sea stars rather than starfish, as they're not fish, but rather cousins of sea urchins. Researchers say the disappearance of so many threatens to disrupt coastal ecosystems because they are important predators in the water between the shoreline and open sea.